This is a nice cool refreshing glass of ice water. It's pretty cold. Its temperatures are on zero degrees Celsius or 32 degrees Fahrenheit. But surely there's colder things in the universe than this, right? Allow me to introduce to you Bose-Einstein condensate, the fifth state of matter and a really cool physics concept. No pun intended. So to understand Bose-Einstein condensate, first we need to talk about what makes things cold. Temperature is just a word describing the average kinetic energy of a group of particles in a system. So while particles that are super hot have lots of kinetic energy, move quickly and on a quantum level occupy lots of different energy levels, super cold quantum particles barely move and occupy a lesser range of energy levels. So that's one part of it, but now we need to talk about bosons. Bosons are these super cool particles that make up basically everything, and physicists use models called wave functions to describe them. What's a wave function? Well, this is a boson that I'm holding in my hand right now. I know that it's big. I know exactly where this boson is because I'm holding it in my hands and I'm seeing it right now. But if I turn off the lights and let the boson go, I have no idea where the boson is. I do have some pretty good guesses though, like it's definitely still in the room and it's probably close to me since I didn't throw it or anything. This is basically what a wave function is. It's just a probability graph of guesses about where a particle is in space. Bosons are a special kind of particle in that they're indistinguishable from each other. What does that mean? Well, if I were to slap two hypothetical bosons into a box and have my sister shake them up, I would have no way of knowing which boson is which. I can't tell them apart based on any of their properties, including, and this is important, position. Now for the fun part. If I were to take a cloud of bosons and lower their temperature drastically, almost a billionth of a Kelvin, the average kinetic energy of the cloud system would approach zero. So all of the bosons would drop to the zero with energy level, moving a lot less. And since these bosons have to have the same wave function and position, they would all sort of merge into this big blob of bosons. And what we're left with is Bose-Einstein condensate, the freezing cold fifth state of matter. Thanks for watching.